Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a battle of beers between uh, American Made Pilsners. We have Six Points Crisp, Patterson Walker's Pivo Pills, Trogues, uh, Sunshine Pills, and Smutty Nose Wunderbar. Um, I want to do this because uh, Pace just did a blind taste test of a, a bunch of uh, Pilsners. Um, I found the ones that I could find fresh as possible. Um, some might be excluded, but unfortunate. Uh, yeah, so let's dig in. Uh, let's dig into this one first. Mm, this one smells a little off. Um, it has a really rich, intense maltiness, which I'm surprised by uh, from a Pilsner. I was just, uh, expecting all of these to be uh, German-style pills, but this one has a really rich maltiness to it. Almost even a, a fruity kind of quality to it, which is strange. Yeah, um, almost leaning towards like a little bit of candied sweetness. Um, rich amounts of malt up front, yeah. But then you're onto that kind of like familiar, uh, familiar kind of traditional... Uh, German Czech hop kind of um, bitterness on the finish, a little bit of herb, um, herbal quality, but really dancing around with a good amount of uh, uh, malt quality. Yeah, not quite sure about that one. And there's just like I want to call it fruitiness. It's strange, like almost leaning towards caramel and fruitiness. It's that one's weird. Mm. Now back to a familiar, uh, more familiar uh, pilsner. Wonderful bright uh, lemon peel, a little bit of uh, lemongrass. A little bit of like a bright grainy sweetness and then uh, white bready malt. Cheers. Mm, that one's really nice. Yeah. Um, nice and sweet of like a floral action up front. A little bit of breadiness in the middle. On the back end, um, a little bit of like herbaceous kind of bitterness. Just a, um, yeah, really crisp and light uh, paddle on this one. Light kind of like crackery grainy kind of malt. Ooh, wow. Uh, this one's very floral. Uh, sweet, sweet floral. Um, yeah, it almost has a honeyed quality. Just really, uh, yeah, wow. Floral it is. Cheers. A really uh, bright, uh, fluffy, uh, yeah, bright, um, sparkling kind of carbonation. But yeah, it's um, a combination of a lemon and like lavender or floral action kind of thing going on. Really a wonderful dance between the two. A little bit of this restrained kind of bitterness. Again, a, a wonderful light kind of a, a grainy kind of a malt bill. Mm, yeah, nice. This one's uh, pretty wide. It has like grassiness coming in, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of herbaceous. Uh, just very fresh smelling, fresh cut grass. Cheers. Ooh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, lemon peel comes through, um, lemon grass comes through. Just really rich amounts of citrus. Again, a little bit more green grass. Um, actually, not too much of the malt quality coming through because really the hops are dominating. Um, and then on the back end, a wonderful kind of um, herbaceous kind of bitterness. Yeah, really nice. Um, not too much spice to talk of, maybe a touch, along with that kind of grass and all those bright uh, flavors in this one. Um, as for a rating, I mean, uh, ranking the bunch, I'm not going to try to guess the bunch because I'm not familiar enough with the beers. Um, or, and they're just hard. I actually don't know which one's which. This one is definitely the last one. That one was just really weird. It's really between these three. Pretty mild. Good amount of bitterness on this one. Mm, that's a very perfumey one. Okay. I like that one. Yeah. And this one. This one has a good amount of bitterness. Um, which one do I like more? Yeah, th I think this one's a little bit more mild. This one really is the most balanced, maybe. Mm. Just love that wonderful hoppiness up front. Um, yeah, loving the just... The, bright amount of hoppiness. This one, I really like the novelty that it has that sweet floral lemony kind of action, but I think it gets a little tiring. This one has the most complete kind of hop profile. And again, it's the most hoppy of the bunch. So um, let's go, go through it. One, two, I mean, four, three, two, one. Number four goes to six point uh, crisp. All right. Um, yeah. I don't know if they're trying to brew German pills. Uh, really doesn't taste like one uh, sitting next to these three. Maybe it's more like a Czech pills, but even then I don't like the flavor pro profile. Uh, number three goes to 
uh, what is that? Sunshine Pills. All right, so Sunshine Pills. There you go. Uh, Butterfine Pilsner. Just uh, really wonderful mild uh, uh, flavors. Wonderful drinkability. Nice and hoppy. And then you go to the Wunderbar. So really, Wunderbar. I, I, I should look into what hop they're using in this one. But really, really wonderful. Just like perfumey, perfumey, kind of like soft lemon perfume kind of action on that one. And then obviously, number one goes to Pivo Pills. So uh, the highest rated one is the my is the what I think is the best of the bunch. Uh, if I was you, again, I really like the hoppiness of the Pivo Pills. Super refreshing. Um, go with the Pivo Pills uh, or the uh, Smutty you Nose know, Wunderbar. Uh, or the actually the the sunshine is a great option too. Um, I don't know about that. Six point crisp. So I uh, thought you uh, hope you guys like this uh, battle beers. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later. <laughs>